Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Letters Tarot and to your weekly tarot reading. If you're new here, also a very warm welcome to my channel. I focus on messages of awakening, soul ascension and aligning you to your true purpose. In fact, recently I just finished a series of reading around destiny, karma and life purpose. So I will put the playlist up here for you guys as well. Uh, just so that you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. All the links that you need are below the video, including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading for yourself. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on your way out. I would be forever grateful for that, it really helps me out. I'd just like to wish you a week full of love and magic and without further ado, let's head to your weekly tarot reading. Hi there Virgo, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive reading for April 26th through to May the 2nd. Virgo, let's see what may be on the cards for you. As per usual, getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. Then we're going to the Moonchild Tarot for an overarching tarot energy before hitting the Rider Waite Classic and the Star Child Tarot Karshik for your tarot positions. Okay, Virgo, let's see what we've got. Trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? So it basically means pay more attention to your intuition and what you're really feeling this week Virgo not what you're thinking so when something's a little bit off we often get that that feeling in the pit of our stomach you know that's trying to sort of alert us to maybe making a more conscious decision so trust your intuition this week more than usual well I mean you should always trust it but you know what I mean it could be really trying to tell you something or communicate with you and I've got share your voice Come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So there might be something you need to speak up about. A communication that you need to have. It could be expressing your feelings for somebody. It could be speaking up about something in the workplace. Maybe handing in your resignation. Something that needs to be spoken in order to set the wheels in motion is what I'm hearing here. Let's go to the Moonchild Tarot for your lead tarot energy now, Virgo. One card. Two of Wands. Yeah, I mean... This can be a little bit of a crossroads energy. It can be sort of life in review. You, you kind of in the position that you are now and dreaming of potentially making a different move for the future. You're really wanting to move towards your passions, your desires, a deeper calling, a bigger purpose. And we've kind of had that realization, but we're still very much, you know, attached to the situation that we're in as well. It's almost like the decision has been made, but there hasn't really been the big actions, the big leap of faith, the blind leaps of faith in order to make this happen. There is a sense here that, you know, life is waiting for you. You know, it's time to get out there, broaden your horizons, ex expand. If not now, then when, Virgo? How can you live that best life that you truly want? So we will see what direction that goes when we go to the tarot. So beginning with the energy of the recent past. Energies leaving, completing or transitioning. I'm taking the one that is face down here. High Priestess. Yes. I think um, intuitively you know what, what move you need to make here, Virgo. But it could be sort of trusting that and you kind of wanting the confirmation. Cards are everywhere today. Current or focus energy, there goes your six of wands, there's a victory here. We'll get the clarifiers and see what direction it's all going. Outcome. Magician, beautiful. Can also be about communication and so can the eight of wands. So there could be something that you sort of need to speak into, you know, when you sort of speak the words into the reality, this is how the creation process starts. As soon as you speak something, like I'm leaving 
this relationship. I'm I'm going to do this course of study. It's like it, it becomes it becomes real, and then it's like the universe conspires with you to make it happen. <laughs> Two of Wands again. Page of Swords. Clarifying the Magician. I have got the Death card. Wow, okay, that's a big energy. Let's get one more for the current focus energy. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, it's not entirely clear from the spread here what area of life we are operating in, but it really is a general reading, guys, so you need to apply it to your situation. But one thing is for, for, for real here, you are desiring a greater sense of happiness and fulfillment, right? The, the, the two of... The two... The two of wands, I was going to say the two of major arcana, it's the high priestess is number two as well. So your angel number is 222 for any of you that have been seeing that. Um, this could most definitely be your reading. But what the cards are really saying here is that you need to trust your intuition and really tune in because you are being called strongly and powerfully to make some decisions and some transitions right now to move towards your divine wish fulfillment here towards your hopes, dreams, desires, towards what makes you truly happy, what lights you up. The Nine of Cups is about being content with life. So ask yourself, Virgo, in what area of your life are you really just not feeling, you know, that contentment and that deep satisfaction? And that is your area to look if you don't already know. But I feel that you already know if this is your reading because the High Priestess and the Niggle card are about, you know, your intuition really trying to deliver you this message. So the High Priestess is about intuition and really trusting that. It's also, um, the High Priestess can be the deliverer of uh, truths and sacred knowledge and um, secrets and mystery to the seeker in divine timing. So there could be something that you learn this week that really helps you make the decision for which path to, to follow here. I've got the King of Cups over here, which for me is Scorpio energy. Transformation on the Death card is also Scorpio energy, so you might be dealing with a Scorpio. But what that kind of means to me is that, obviously Scorpio is the energy of death and rebirth, so there's a sense that we need to release something in order to, to step onto the new path. You know, that is the way when we're desiring a new beginning generally a phase of our life, a relationship, a job, or something has to come to an ending. I always notice about this particular King of Cups that we're balancing the two cups. So again, even though it's not a number two in the tarot, it has the link to two directions, two options, two paths to fulfillment. Which way should I go? And that Two of Wands really says, hey, what are you willing to do to get it? Are you willing to leave the comfort zone? Are you willing to put yourself out there are you willing to change directions in your life to gain a deeper sense of happiness? That Nine of Cups is one of the, you know, the ultimate realities. It's one card before the Ten of Cups. So it's a, it's a beautiful energy to, to, be, to be moving towards. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit out of sequence here. I'm going to go to the Death card next. So this really says that the, the change that we want is really initiated when we bring some kind of ending, a kind of a release or a purge to a situation. I also see in this card here somebody who's kind of coming out of this chamber. It can be, you know, depression, it can be anxiety, it can be grief. It's something that's held you in that kind of pattern and you're now able to walk towards the light to release yourself maybe from a pattern internally. So, you know, this is what it's about. It's about surrendering to the ending to welcome in the beginning. And because it kind of came in with the magician, to me it means <clears throat> this is an ending that you are going to have to initiate, Virgo. It's not going to happen for you. And it could just start with that sharing your voice, with speaking it into the reality, and then all of a sudden the wheels are in motion. But with the death card, there is always a new dawn, a new day, light at the end of the tunnel, but we have to have the strength and courage to release, to let go, in order to, to bring that in. 
But really there is, you know, there is real victory here in this reading. Um, let's go here next. Magician, Eight of Pentacles and Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is that real energy of changes upon you, but it's kind of just that feeling at the moment, that undercurrent, that breeze that starts to move you. But the cards are saying if you really back it with a little bit of you know work, time, effort and energy, Eight of Pentacles, that is when we see the big transformation, the Magician. But it is going to be you know challenging at times I don't feel this is an easy transition. The Eight of Pentacles can talk about, you know, hard work. But generally the person in the Eight of Pentacles doesn't mind because you are carving out a new direction, a new future. And it's one that you truly want to because you know it's going to lead to that Nine of Cups. So that's what I'm seeing here. So the Magician is the awakening to the fact that you have everything within you now, Virgo, to make it happen. It's really just about, you know, going through uh there was a follow-through now you know really backing yourself in that so that's the magician energy um, again it's that mercury energy so it is about communication and it also talks about shifting your own energy internally in order to change your external circumstances your external reality well, there's a death card there as well so six of wands and eight of wands. I feel like there's a real directional change in your life here. The eight of wands for me as a reader is that card of doing a 180 through a few what might have seemed kind of small changes or initiations. Very soon your life could look quite different to how it is now. But you are going to really um, welcome those changes, Virgo, because there is a sense that you're coming out of that darker time into a better time in your life, and you're really ready to embrace great change. The Eight of Wands can also be a card of communication and messaging. So you might receive a message that really, like I think I said that before with the Nine of Cups, that really says, you know what, I'm grabbing that wand of the future, I'm taking that big, bold move, and I'm moving on to the new it can be sort of my card of divine intervention as well. It's like this message, uh, whether it comes through your intuition or it's you know something physical through social media or a phone call or something like that, it moves your reality. And the Six of Wands really is that card of victory, guys. It says that this transition, as challenging as it may be, Virgo, holds a victory for you, and you're going to be you know looking good, feeling good higher sense of self-confidence maybe after a more challenging time um, if you move towards it so kind of challenging but beautiful energies there Virgo I really do hope that you take those steps to move towards that best life reality okay Virgo well that is what I have for you this week and I do hope you enjoyed this intuitive message keeping in mind it is a general reading for the collective may or may not be for you Feel free to drop me a message if you're called to share Virgo. I do read them all and I try to respond to them all over there as well. It helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what's happening on the collective. Has been a pleasure Virgo. I will see you back here very soon for another one. Bye for now.